I was perfectly fine with it. So I think it was fine. Like, because I think it stays consistent with the storytelling, which again, it also telegraphs a number of different things to me. Like clearly they don't want Cody dropping the title anytime soon. So they don't really have any plans for that. And I'm guessing Gunther is going to be going over here soon at SummerSlam. And he just had a long prestigious run as the intercontinental champion. And it seems like Triple H wants to have these long championship runs, right? He, he doesn't want the hot potato thing kind of that he went through at different times because there were so many different superstars there in the attitude era. And then even, you know, it seemed like Cena and Orton were just, you know, throwing it back and forth quite a bit. I think he wants to establish these long championship runs and, Money in the bank can kind of screw that up. Obviously there were, there were times where in previous instances, like Vince had no idea what to do with it. So he had Austin theory cash in on a U.S. title opportunity, which was, so I would rather have this than cashing in on a secondary title. Plus again, it, 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 it helps with the Drew's being arrogant. Drew's doing all these things. Drew's being blinded by his own arrogance. It helps progress the storyline. And not only that, it also brought Seth Rollins back into the fold with CM Punk, who was the initial one who was so pissed off the night that Punk returned to the company. So it, it, it gets a couple of irons in the fire for CM Punk, and it makes this whole thing a lot more interesting. Uh, was a B plus. That's that. That's how it filled out with a B plus. Here's what's funny, guys. The men's. Um, Money in the Bank match was 16 minutes and 30 seconds. The women's was 16 minutes and 50 seconds. Same amount of time, and the women was better. The, the, the women's and what they did, everything that you Ooh. saw, all those big bumps was better than the men. Now, having said that, I, I don't like know. Drew Drew using the ladder as a javelin to knock down um, whoever was on top. I can't remember who was on top of it right now. When he grabbed it and just like hurled it through the air, that was a new one. I hadn't seen that one before. No, but I thought that the women did a better job of. I mean, every t- everywhere you look, yes. there was just crazy bumps that they were taking, which surprised me. That Chelsea well, table bump was one of the cleanest like spots I've ever seen. The way she adjusted and just hit them flush, like that was amazing. Well, I, I mean. Compare that to the Zoe spot, which I don't yeah, know how she was one. walking. Yeah. Ooh, God <laughs> almighty. So I, I would say a B plus. But having said that, I like the outcome. And by the way, here on GKW, I was 2-0 and in predictions. Mm. Put that out there, Brian. Put 2-0. <laughs> Job well done. Mac- I gave you McIntyre, and I gave you the winner of the women with Tiffany Stratton. Um, yes. But but it was I like the outcome because Drew wins. Okay, great. So Drew's going to go on. Nope. Here comes CM Punk. Did not expect that. Did not expect that. Not like not as, as soon as it happened. I just love how that happened where Drew McIntyre gets cut off. I also love the idea that Corey Graves got angry with Samantha Irvin for too long of an introduction. <laughs> Drew McIntyre is going to cash in his money in the bank. Samantha, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> if you go if you go back and watch it, you can hear Corey Graves pissed off. Like, all right, it's a 30-second intro. We see, And Drew just in the corner waiting, just waiting for it to be done. And her long introduction, come on, Samantha, let's go. He's going to catch it in. Let's go. Um, but I, I like that because uh, Punk cut him off, and so it's just going to heat up the rivalry even more so. So I thought it was decent, um, Brian. I thought it was a B-plus effort. So I think it was unnecessary. Like we could have accomplished the same stuff if Punk cost him in the match. And then the Rollins thing, I agree with you, Gabe. I thought that was a good touch. And then the promo on Monday was a good way to add to it. But then to have Priest and Monday be like, all right, no, you're good. Like you still get a shot. It's like, what are we doing? And like, that was also unnecessary because we would assume Priest will lose at SummerSlam. Then that stip doesn't really matter anymore. This to me was an opportunity for LA Knight or Jey Uso to finally win a big match. Like, even if they don't eventually become champion, one of those two having the briefcase for a few months could have elevated them when all those guys do is lose big matches. Yeah, but if they don't have a plan for it, if they want to have these longer championship runs with Cody and they don't want to cash in on Cody and Gunther and they want to establish him, like, it just becomes a burden for one of those guys if they have to carry it all around all the time. Like, we get, we were getting impatient with right. Damian Priest before he cashed.